Hi everyone, it's Kathleen. We are here today to do a project from the Daphne's Diary number four issue that has just arrived for me here in Canada today. And we are going to do a project from here. We're going to be doing this embroidery, this mixed media embroidery. It's mixed media because, or altered art, because it is embroidery on a sieve. And I'm going to embroider it for you using this Daphne's Diary idea. And we are very fortunate because when they sent me this magazine, they said that any of you who enter would like to go online to the it's a daphne's diary.com and anything you order off of there you get a 20 percent off discount if you use dd kathleen k-a-t-h-l-e-e-n 20 so they'll give you a 20 percent off discount so this is exciting i saw this in the magazine and i just had to do it so this is one of the projects we are going to start today. And I went to the store. I bought a sieve. This It's small. It's, it's about the size of my hand. And we are going to, it's a little strainer, a metal strainer. And we are going to embroider some flowers on here. We are going to use the greenery with the two sieve colors of sage green and the flowers I'm going to use are three shades of turquoise teal and aqua so this is just some very soft scrappy bit of lace that I'm going to lay across the top just because I like to do scrappy journal pages scrappy journals so I'm just going to lay this across here. And I, yes, it's a little off center and that's what I like. I am hoping my number 10 Milner's needle will go through here. And I use it just, I always use this needle. Some people switch up and use other needles, but I like a Milner's number 10 and I use it all the time because my thumb lets go. And it's, it's a long needle. It has a large eye. And I can thread it easily. I'm using a very long piece of six stranded embroidery cotton. I'm using all six strands and I am going to tie the ends together. I've threaded the needle through and I'm going to tie the ends together. And I'm going to be working with these 12 strands of embroidery floss to create this artwork. So let's go. We will start. And I'm going to do my design. Here, where's Daphne's? Daphne's is a little different. She looks like she does a, bo a bouquet. This one looks like a bouquet of flowers. So instead of imitating that, I'm just going to do something a little bit different. So I'm going to do three flowers and we're going to start with the dark one. So in, I'm going to have my dark flower start. I'm going to have three flowers. I'm going to have mine start right here, which is, whoa, that's not the Oh, this is a little difficult to go through. I'm not used to that. Okay, our needle does go through and I'm gonna anchor it here and I'm going to do, it's called a bullion rose. So I'm gonna first of all make a French knot and I'm just going to pull my two threads tight and one, two, and then I'm gonna go down close to where I came out. So it's just going to be a two wrapped French knot and because this lace is not glued down in any way, it will come up when I work with it. So I'm just gonna pull it. And my knot here, we may or may not 
be able to see it through. So I'm just going to cut off. I should have trimmed the ends off just a little bit. There we are. Oops, one is a little bit of a straggler. Take that off. So we're going to embroider a rose now. We did a French knot in the center and we are going to come up just above, whoa, just above the French knot at the 12 o'clock position if you are reading a clock. And I'm going to go down at the 6 o'clock. I'm just carefully holding that lace. Okay, let's make a little loop here. And pull this down. So I came out at 12, down at 6. And I'm just going to pull it a little bit so I can... There's a loop here. I'm going to come up at 3 o'clock. from the back to the front, and I'm going to pull it, pull it snugly, starts to form a flower, there we go, and I'm going to, we came out at three o'clock, so that's nine o'clock, I'm going to go down, again, we're going to make that little loop shape. And, of course, I'm more concerned with my stitches than watching this. So look at this. I've got a lid. If you get tangled up on this, say, on the handle, that's okay. We're going to get it undone. Because, look, i got a little knot here. Little fiddly, but that's what these boy and roses are. And I'm going to come up at six o'clock. So we're going a quarter of the way around the circle for this. I'm going to come up. It does not have to be in the same hole. You're just creating petals. And I'm going to come straight up and pull this snug. I'm going to have to turn over because I think I might have a twisted bit. There we are. Okay, I did. So because I'm working with these double-stranded, I may have a little loop. So I'm pulling it up, and I'm going to create another loop. So I came up at 6 o'clock. I'm going to go down at 12, make my little circle, half circle. And before I tie that tight, I'm going to come up at 9 o'clock. And now we're just going to go around this little rose maybe one more time. So I'm going to go down at halfway between there. So I'm going to go halfway between this first stitch. So right there, I'm going to go down. really close to the camera so I just don't want to bump it. I am careful of being careful of the lace and I am I want to come up in between those but on the outside. So I'm gonna whoops come out. There we are. And I'm gonna pull this and I am going to, I'm doing a video, sweetheart. Thank you. And I'm going to go down halfway between that stitch. So I'm trying to alter these petals now. We'll see how they go. So if I came up at about one or two o'clock, I'm going to go down at about 5 o'clock. Oh. 
And I'm going to come up in between these threads and, whoops, let's go a little closer to the rows. So it's in between those two stitches. And I'm going to pull my threads. Are they a little bit uneven? That's okay because our petals of flowers, they're not that. They're not exactly even, are they? Okay, so that's the first first wrap of petal of the second round. So if I'm there, I'm going to kind of go across, stagger them a little bit, go down. And again, I'm going to make that half Jacques no barking. That's okay. Jacques's on the bed with me as I'm creating this altered art embroidery. No Jacques, no growling. Ladies don't want to hear that. Halfway, you come up halfway between. No, Jacques. And then we're going to go down. I can see this petal here. So I'm going to go down there. And again, we're going to make that half. No, Jacques. No. And I'm going to come up halfway. I have my German Shepherd on the other side of the door and my little Papillon on the bed with me. So Jacques thinks he is a German Shepherd guarding, but he's not. Okay, this will be the last petal, I think. So we're going to pull up. So that's a nice little... I think I pulled too tight. So if you pull too tight, just insert the back of your needle in there. And just, just get it out a bit. Okay, so I'm going to bring it snugger, snugger, and one last bit. So this is a loose rose. It's almost like a cabochon. And, oh, come on. I'm going to bring my petal down right there. I don't think I'm going to go around anymore. That's we went around once. So that's a little rose. I'm going to bring it out a little bit. Okay, like that. So, it's quite a loose rose, and you do get loose petals because you're using six strands of embroidery floss. So that looks really pretty. And I would like to tie a knot at the back. See how easy this is going to be. <laughs> not really. Okay, there we are. I'm just not used to working in a circular. Okay, so that's all I want to do for right now with this blue. I want to switch with the Caribbean blue. So I'm going to move this to the side, get the Caribbean blue. No Jacques. Jacques, lay down. So I'm going to tie, I'm using this, it's a long strand, it's probably about 36 inches in length because it's folded in half. I'm going to tie the ends in a knot, make it really close so I don't have to cut it in the back, and let's just straighten it out. Okay, we're straight. So let's make our second capuchon rose. And I'm going to have it the center come Let's come at the center come over here. Okay, again, we're going to do a French knot, 1 2 times around the needle and down. And you pull the thread so it's snug and then we push our needle through and pull looks like i have to pull each one of these separate there we are okay and we're gonna do the same thing hopefully i can go a little faster with this one so i come up at 12 o'clock going to arc in a half circle. I'm going to go down at six o'clock and then come
come up at three. Okay, that's a little on the snug side. Let's make him a little bit looser. Sometimes if you pull too hard, that's okay. We're just going to straighten it out a bit. Okay, I pulled it out and we are going to, okay, I don't know if that's, I ended up in the same spot. So we are coming out at three, down at six. I said the wrong thing. Coming out at three, down at nine, so across. Straighten this out. watch that handle okay and I'm gonna have my needle come up in between those again and then I do pull it off pull it through there we are and if I come out here I'm gonna go go down at the opposite And I'm going to come up halfway through. Right. Whoa. <laughs> there we are. Come up halfway through and pull. So now I'm going to go down, not, it, not across. I'm going to stagger the, my petals a little bit. So I'm going to go down there. out the lace pull that through and we're going to come up halfway I can pull it a little bit closer we're going to come up halfway between there here we are nice and then we're going to go down not quite at six o'clock so we're staggering these. And I'm going to come up. I love aquas, blues, and teals, so that's why I chose these colors. And there we are. So this is not a, a perfect rose. It is a Scrappy cabochon. That's, you'll never find that term in any <laughs> embroidery book. But that's what I'm calling these. And I'm going to come up half, up and down, and then up again halfway between. Oh, sorry. See, I have a new camera system, and it's on a, on a clip on my little TV tray. And I am going to go down this way. Oh, that looks beautiful. That looks, you can see it better in the lighter color. The darker color is a little harder to see. And my little French knot is kind of lost in there. There you are. He's a plain peekaboo. Okay, so this, let's go. Oh, I have to go down here. And let's come up closer to the, whoops, I'm getting further away. I'm going to get closer. Oh, that'll be good. Oh, that's so lovely. And I'm going to, where are we here? This one might be a little bit bigger. So I'm going to go down. Hmm. I'll go down there and there. So let's go how far do I want to bring that? No, I have to go here. Let's go down here. So just about across, I'm trying to stagger it, but it looks like that one went in the same spot. 
and let's go up in between. Okay, I love that. And let's bring me down. Let's see, where do I want to go? Oh, that is so gorgeous. Okay, let's go over here. And tie it off. So let's bring it down. Okay, it looks like I have, whoops, I wanted to make those threads the same. There we are. I'll pull them out a little bit more. Oh, I love that. Oh, I love that. That's so nice. Okay. And let's tie a quick knot and get on to the light aqua one. There's nothing fast about sewing, so I'm hoping to get it done quickly. And maybe this next light blue, this aqua color, will go even quicker. So look at that. So we have a smaller, bigger one, and see how this one fits in. And I have a long, again, probably approximately 36 inches. And be, because I don't like to have too many knots, and I don't know how much thread this is going to take quite a bit. So you can use any pattern you want to on this sieve. Daphne's Diary Magazine gives us just some... A, oh, look at this. I just tied a knot gives us that beautiful suggestion of a bouquet. And I am, well, we'll see how far I get. Let's go in between here. I was just gonna do a, uh, some roses. Uh-oh, hopefully that won't stop my video. And text coming in. And, okay, let's do this one. So we have a French knot that we are going to do one, two, and down, pull the tight, thread tight, and in, and then we come up at the top, go down at the bottom, and come up halfway, Way, then we'll tighten up. And let's go down. Across. And let's pull it up a little bit more. And then we will, whoops. Come up halfway between. And then we're going to go down. Let's go down here. And come up halfway. Let's make this circle a little tighter. Come up halfway. Okay. And we're going to go down. Cross leave that little room and come up halfway between but on the outside. Oh well, that's fine. You can come up there. There we are. And we're gonna go down across. little loop come up in between that's good and then we're gonna pull uh oh you're moving again it's because I knocked it with the thread 
and go down across. And we're going to come up halfway through. And go down. Make a half circle again. And come up halfway between those, but on the outside of the rows. Did I have a knot? Oh, sometimes well, if I'm working with six strands, I'm pulling it tight. Okay, let's see where I am here. It looks like I pulled that too tight. But you just take the end of your needle, pull it out a bit. And okay, that looks all right. And then we're going to move this down here. And I'm going to call it quits. We'll see. Do I want to call it quits or do one more? I'm going to call it quits. Okay. Love the way that is. I'm going to go in with um, the lighter colors. Okay. For the center, I'm going to add more to the center. So let's tie a knot. It's hard to tie it in the sieve. Okay. But I'm not going to cut it off because I'm going to go the dark I want here, this there, so that one is over here. So let's make a another French knot in here. Let's come up and let's make, let's pull our thread snug, and let's make a one, two, and go down. Let's see what a one looks like. A one wrap. I'm getting all tangled here. Let's see what a one wrap looks like. Okay, one wrap, go down and pull. Okay, that's too tiny, let's go two. One, two, and down. And pull it tight. Okay, I like that. Now we're gonna tie a knot. This is the lightest of the aqua. Oh, sorry. New camera stand again, so I apologize. Okay, so that's the aqua, aqua. We're gonna go in a circle. So aqua onto this, the dark onto that. So let's find a dark, the dark. And again, I'm going to still leave it at six strands for the flowers here. So I'm going to tie a knot and I'm just going to do a French knot onto the center of the Caribbean blue bullion flower. Only because I want to change up the color of the thread. So even though I've made a French knot, it's a scrappy flower. So we can, we can add to it. Let's go in the center. I'm going to add, do a two wrap, one, two wrap French knot and down. Okay, very nice. And pull it through. Just adjust your French knot if it isn't sitting right. I like that. Make a little knot at the back. And that'll be that for the dark turquoise. So the other color I need is the Caribbean blue for that little center. Oh, come on, you gotta get out. Caribbean.
Moment, Ruhe. I'm going to attach the ends together. Make a knot. And then I'm just going to make a, a two-wrapped French knot in the center of the lightest aqua. So we're going to come up in the center. Make a one two-wrap French knot. Go down. Pull it snugly and pull your thread all the way through. Look at that. Gorgeous. <laughs> Love that. Okay, let's take that off. We're going to make a knot. Tie it off and let's make some greenery. So, take this off. I'm going to start with a light leaf. So this... There are two shades of sage green, a lighter and a darker. I don't have, there are more than likely DMC embroidery flaws. Okay, so am I going to double it? Hmm. Maybe not. I'm not going to double this. I'm going to thread oh, do I want to single it or double it maybe it'll be single okay so I'm just going to knot one end I'm going to double knot it because I don't know how how loose my sieve is going to be. I'm going to do three leaves. Let's start with the one to cover up the lace here. So let's, I'm going to have, do three uh, solid leaves and then I'll be doing some Where do I want to come out? About there. Okay, that will be fine. Up, and I'm going to go, I'm, my leaf will come down probably to where the petals touch, right here. So I'm going to just go down. Mm. Is it halfway? Mm, not quite. I wonder if I should have doubled it. It's hard to see. And I'm going to be coming up along the outside edge and going down in the center. So to the left. To the left of the center line. And then at center. Come up on the right. I'm not sure how close to be. Okay, we're just going to go this way. To the right of it, at the center. And then down underneath the center line. Come up on the Left, so we alternate left, right, left, right. Down at the center, just underneath those center stitches there. Coming out. On the right, down the center, it's a 
beautiful leaf up at the left, down the center. What's this? Okay, my bullion, I had to pull. My bullion rose, I pulled a little bit. So where's my... I'm going to come up on the right for the leaf. Down underneath. That is a beautiful leaf. And I'm going to do one more on the left. Whoops. Feeling with your fingers through the sieve. <laughs> and then down in the center. I'm going to come up right there because I, I like it. I think there's a spot there. Come up and then go down. Whoops. Okay. I'm going to make a French knot in here. Because I want to. And it's going to be one, two, three, and it's a lazy French knot. And down. I call it lazy because I am looping it like that. Not pulling the string tight. I am making it oh, stop. There we go. We have a loose French knot there. I'm going to tie a knot at the back because I want to do another French knot, maybe three French knots here, three lazy French knots, loose French knots. Okay, so there's, that's one, and, oh, come on, down one, okay, I'm going to make three loose French knots, so I'm going to go one, two, three, I'm going to hold what's on here. Go down. And instead of pulling it, you saw I'm holding my thread. And then with this one, I'm going clockwise down the needle. Until I like the circle shape. And then pull. Just fluff the circle a little bit. Whoa. Okay, so I have a wonky one. That's good. I like wonky. Okay, and I want to do one more. So I'm going to tie a knot. With loose French knots, you're not exactly sure what you're going to get every single time. That's, if you have OCD like me, it is not a good thing. But it is what it is. Let's come up and do one more. Perfect. Let's fluff this other guy here. We can position those loops however we want to. And I straighten up my thread and I go one, two, three. Down. I'm just going to hold this. Fluff the loose French knots. Hold it with my fingers and let's pull. Gorgeous. Tie a knot in the back and we're going to do two more leaves. We have three flowers, so we go between each of the flowers. I'm not cutting off, so I did that flower. I sorry, that leaf I'm going to do this leaf here and I'm going to come okay we can do that come up there and let's go halfway down 
from where I came out halfway down. Okay, and we come out on the left. Left a little bit lower. And at the center, just slightly down. Come up on the right, close to, but close to the leaf, but slightly lower. Hand down in the center. Up on the left. Down at the center. the center last one on the left down the center let's move these threads and the last one on the right the last one down there. We're going to tie a knot because that one leaf is finished and I'm going to make a knot and we are going to do our last leaf. Let me okay, one more leaf here. Let's go further out. Okay, very good. So we're on our third leaf, halfway down. Come up a little bit lower on the left. And down at center, up on the right, down at center, up at the left, down at center. see where I want it to come out. <laughs> and down at the center. This is a cute little scrappy rose. Okay. And up on the left. Down at the center. Can we do one more? I'm going to go, I'm going to come up again on the left, only because there's a little bit of space there. And I want to come down. Beautiful. Okay, that fills it up very nicely. And I'm going to tie a knot and I'm going to switch greens. We are going to use the darker shade of sage and add some more of the 
just some sparse, wispy greenery. And we're going to be using the feather stitch. Or fly stitch. It's hard to say how many stems I'm going to use. Have to get all those six strands. Okay, we are just going to use all six strands. I'm not doubling it, so I am just going to tie a knot on the end. And because we are just using the six strands, I'm going to put a double knot on the end. Okay, let's have a look and see. We want to have a little bit of just... Okay, um, I'm just going to start and just see where this goes. It's just going to be a meandering stitch. So a, f a feather stitch. So let's just go. We're going to be going up and down at the top the top of this little, think of it as a letter Y. And we're gonna come up, whoopsie, not there, nope. Okay, I wanna come up there. So we are doing just a little meandering stitch. So it's coming out here I'm going to go across and down. Oh no, did I do the handle? Okay. And I'm going to go Okay, that'll be good. Sometimes I get a knot. Okay, let's turn it the way it's supposed to be. So we're doing a, a feather stitch coming irregularly. Okay, let's go this way. So where we came out, we're going to go down across. I'm going to go a little bit closer. And I'm going to come up. Nope. There we are. That's where I wanted to come up. And I'm just, it's a meandering stitch. I'm just going back and forth. And I'm going to go down into here. And that'll be the end of that stem. And we're going to tie a knot. And we're going to continue. Okay, so I would like since I'm down here, I'm just going to start here again. So I'm going to come here. just inventing a path for my for my feather stitch to go up and down so I'm filling in this area here so I'm going to go to the right across from where I came up And, oh, sorry. I guess down there. And I'm going to 
to come up, whoops, where this rose ends at the tip there. And I'm going to go down. Oh, I love that. Oh my gosh, I love that. Oh, those colors are gorgeous. Adding this feather stitch, like a Y stitch, but feather stitch because it's meandering, really makes it look very nice. Okay, so do I want to have some stems? Hanging down. I think I will. I think I will. So because of that, it'll be like I'm holding a bouquet, just like it is in Daphne's diary, but I'm using different stitches. So I'm going to go, I, I want some meandering lines this way. I want to fill out that a little bit more. So I'm going to go here. And... I'm going to go, ouch, top, and then let's go down, go to the right, no, I want to go further down, okay, then I'm going to go to the left. I finally can go to the left here. And straighten out that. Oh, I like that. I want to go to the right now. To the right and you see where I'm placing my stem? I want it to go down like that. Okay, I have to move it out of the way. Okay, that'll be fine. Don't get caught up. Oh, I like that. I'm going to do... stem that way and I'm going to come closer to whoa okay that'll be fine uh oh there we are I had a knot in the back look at that okay so I am going to Go to the right, and we're going to come in the center, lower, perfect. Okay, and I'm going to carry it all the way, oh gosh, I'm so sorry. I'm going to carry it right down to the where my sieve has the handle, where the handle starts. Oh, I love that. Okay, so I am not going to tie a knot. I am going to go just below that. Oh, i got to let out my at the top. Did I cut it? Look what I just did. Oh dear. I guess working through the sieve. Well, I gotta take that off. Let's see what I got here. Oh, that's my end. See, I wanted it really long and I don't think I'm gonna get it really long. Oh boy. Well, we're going to try. One of those threads broke off. I'm going to play. Play with my thread. 
and hope it doesn't fray. So I am, I'm going to bring this right up to the center. So I'm just getting a thicker stem, more stems. There we are. And, oh, I like that. I am just going to get another stem. Go all the way down underneath that. Okay, I hope that thread doesn't come apart. Okay, it has come apart. So let's see where we are. Okay, now I can't see it. Oops. Okay, it broke off somewhere. Where did it break off? Right here. So I have to cut my thread, all of it, right there. And is that... Okay, I have... I'll just have to use that length. So let's make a knot. So much for, for having long thread if it wears out through the sieve. Okay, I made one little knot and I am just going to cut it, make another little knot. And we're gonna use, I guess, a very short strand for continuing. Mm -hmm. That looks very pretty. I'm going to do some up here. Uh oh. Hard to see through here. It's nothing fast about embroidery, so if you're expecting a fast project, this is not the project for you. So far, we are at 57, so just under an hour. Okay, so we're going to start continuing with some more of the meandering. Oh, whoopsie. Okay, this meandering feather stitch. So, and then we gotta come. No, oh, that's not anywhere near where I want it to come out right there. And let's go to the right. And oops, now let's go over a bit. And let's go to the right. You can see my thread. I don't like having such a short length of thread. And I'm going to, whoops, no, I want to come up there. Oh boy, how many. You know what, I have to go down just over the thread and tie it off in the back because I'm short on thread. Okay, and I can continue. So that looks very pretty. And, okay, I have to take my needle out. Make a little knot. Cut that off. Okay, this piece is, again, a little bit too short. I would rather work with a longer one. So I'll use that somewhere else, and I will get... Oh, well, I guess we'll use this piece. It's all pre-cut, I guess. So I don't think this one is six strands. I think this might be five. And if that's five or four, that's just what I'm using. Two, four, five. Five strands, tie the end. 
and double it with the knot. Make sure it doesn't come out in the end and let's continue. Okay, I seem to be adjusting this little blurb here. That's fine. And I want to continue, so let's come out. No, let's go higher. Yeah, let's go there. I'm going to go down. going to bring this ending one close to there and down. Let's make a little knot and then we're going to continue to go down just like we did over here. It's very pretty and what an interesting project. Very interesting project and it's out of the Daphne's Diary magazine. So let's the knot is here, so let's just continue. To meander. Oh, oh, did I get caught? Slightly. Let's meander this way. And I go down at the same height. Come up, where do I want my stem to be? A little lower and underneath. Yes. And, oopsie. Okay, I'm going to go right into the flower. It'll go underneath the flower once I go like this. kind of form a line so I want to come out here to the right no let's go Let's go this way. Come on, come on. And right there. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, that is so lovely. Do I want to have one more? Or not, because we're up here. Oh, do you hear the thunder? That's, oh, that's lovely. Okay, let's just bring it down to the bottom. And I am at the bottom, and I am going to tie a knot. It's starting to thunder. Wow. Um, okay. Oh, that's very pretty. I keep fussing with these. Keep fussing with those. Okay, that's beautiful. I would like to make a little bow. And I want to finish this on camera. So I'm just going to go. What colors can we take? Do we want to take... We have... What are our blues? Light... That light blue... That blue, do I want to bring this one in here? I don't know. Let's 
let's see okay do i just want to let's try let's color color try this out do i want to have my bow with just the lighter one Okay, I'm looking here, we have strands going down like that. So let's, oh, where's that lighter green? I think I'm gonna go with the lighter green. Okay, let's go, do I have light green here? Do I have enough? Maybe. Let's use this. Oh, I got the same problem. Oh, I want it to stand out a little bit. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to... Oh gosh, why can't I decide? Uh, let's go with the aqua. And re-thread the aqua. Okay, because we are making it very thick across, we can go, in, we can double our thread. And tie a close knot. Okay, making sure this is as neat as we can be. And we're just gonna go from the left to the right, as if we had this string or ribbon tied around our bouquet of flowers. Oh, that looks really pretty. So we're just going to hug those Hug the stems. Oh, I like that. And go close down. Oh, gosh, I like that. That's beautiful. and underneath and down oh my gosh oh that's beautiful how far down do we want to go just like that Okay, I'm just thinking, come up and make a little bow. Where did I come up? I came up on this side. So do I want to come up? I want my bow to be on the, on the side. So I'm going to come up here and I'm just gonna make a little loop. Oops, my loop went away. I'm gonna make a little loop. Go down. I'm going to A little knot there. I'm inventing as I go. Oh, it's hard to get into there. I can see it in the knot. Okay, but I want to make sure that that doesn't move. So I'm going to hold that loop, hold my knot, 
and pull. Okay, now I'm going to come up. Oh, look at that beautiful little loop. French knot with just one loop and oops where am I sticking it that it's not going in let's go down here I want to make it a nice French knot so I have to pull around the needle Oh, did I go through the knot? I guess we'll find out in a minute. Hold that down, and we're going to hope that it goes down. Let's take that little bit out. Oh, that looks so cute. Okay, and I'm going to come out. Oh. I'm going to tie a little knot here because I did the French knot. I'm going to do a Well, it's a knot back there regardless. And I'm going to come out at the bottom. And I'm just going to, I'm going to cut my threads here. So it'll be like two, like the, you have the, a bow, a ribbon. And I'm going to cut it long for now. And okay, you got to stay. We got to stay open, guys. Okay, that's cute. So I want to do some French knots, and I'll just I'll I'll open this up. Okay, Daphne on hers has a couple of French knots scattered throughout. So I'm going to add a few French knots. I'm going to use this aqua color, this light color. And I'm going to do, I think those were double. I'm going to do, sing, this is a single, I, I can't remember. I'm going to do single French knots regardless. So let's just pick. How do I want to have my buds looking? Do I want to have them as if they're on a on a flower there and there. Let's start with that. I want to have one here. Okay, right at the tip. Let's just do a single French knot. Okay, and let's come up. I'm going to come up as if that was the tip of the flower. It's almost like baby's breath that we're adding a little bit. Little, oops, that's too tight. Okay, so let's make a knot. And down. Okay, that's a nice small knot. A single wrapped French knot. And let's go... Okay, I'm not sure what I want to do here. Let's go here. Whoopsie. I want to go on the tip. So is that my po point? I want to go on the tips of everything? Because those were on the tips. Let's just go a single French knot on the tips and see what that looks like. Okay, that's floating in the air, so i got to go this way. And 
one French knot and no, sorry, not on camera, one French knot and down. Let's go on the tip of this one. So it's like baby's breath we're going, we're doing. French knot. I think Jacques thinks it's at S U P P E R time. <laughs> That's all right, Jacques. Just a moment. Okay, those are very pretty. So on the tip, on the tip of that one, tip of this guy. So on the tip of my feather stitch, I'm going to put a one wrapped French knot. Oh, my thread, you can see it's unraveling. Okay, there I smoothed it out because you have six or five or six strands and they are not all the same width pulled out. Okay, so that's nice. And let's go to the tip of this guy. Single, one wrap, French knot. And down. Go up to the next strand. Oh, that's beautiful. Single wrapped French knot and down. Okay, I'm just checking my thread, making sure all of these are laying flat. All those strands. And on every tip, I'm going to do a French knot. It's okay, Jacques. It's okay, Jacques. One goes just one and down. Oh, that's so pretty. What a pretty project. Next one, next tip. Oh, did I unplug it? I did. Unthread it, I mean. All the same length and they're giving me grief so let's give it a little haircut to even out the stitches or to even out the threads so I can get them back in the needle okay the tip Oh, this is so beautiful. And, oh, whoopsie. And there we go. I have to pull the thread. And... Oh good, I'll be able to finish off this strand, this frond. And then get some more thread. Look at how nice that is. Loop and down. And then I'll tie a knot at the back and I'll have to reload my needle. Let me cut 
that that off. Okay, now we have aqua. Let's get some more quickly finish off. And tie a knot. Oh, that's looking so pretty. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, we have a few more to do. So let's see. Do a single French wrap and down. Up at the end. Jacques crying, he wants to have supper. Single knot. You can set a clock by those dogs, I swear. Okay. Down. Next one. Down. There are lo lots of very interesting ideas. Oops. In the Daphne's Diary magazine that I'm going to be trying because they are so cool. And I will be filming them on video. And you can join in, in with me and create your own. This embroidered sieve is such a cool idea. So Daphne, I think in her book she said she has it hanging in her kitchen. I'll probably have this hanging in my craft room because that's the way I am. I might hang it in the kitchen, who knows? Maybe I will, we'll give it a try. Uh, hanging up on my Hoosier. I have an old-fashioned Hoosier in my kitchen that was my grandparents' kitchen. That's all it was. It was a Hoosier in a log. No, no, it wasn't a log cabin. It was just a wood cabin. And it had a dirt floor. They were homesteaders. And that was their kitchen. The table the Hoosiers, it's a uh, oak wood, probably one of the cheaper models at the time, and had a, has a beautiful roll top to hide some of the items behind there, and they would pull that lever out, ledge out, and they had to sit around that small little ledge and eat on that table. And it sits in my kitchen now. It's so cool. Cannot believe they had this a two room little sh wooden shack that they homesteaded in. On one, no, not one acre. I think it was 10 acres, 100 acres? Ten, no, 10 acres of land. Okay, and the last one here. Anyway, the Hoosier. You can go on my Hoosier. That's my Ukrainian grandparents. Couple more. Whoa. Oops. One and down. Okay. Oh, that's so beautiful. So I created this little sieve, altered art piece with you from start to finish. So you can create one yourself. As we will create more of these from the Daphne's Diary ideas that she has in her latest, I think it's issue four, that I showed you yesterday. 
oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. And I love the sh shabbiness. I might, no, I'm not going to rip it off for now. Is it too long? Will it bother me here? Let's just, there, I just ripped it off. Tore it off a bit. Okay, is this, no, two more. This one. Wow. I think our heritage is interesting. Both of my parents are Ukrainian, so I'm of Ukrainian descent. My husband is of French descent and Norwegian. French, Norwegian. One and down. There we are. Ah, uh, one more? Yes, one more. I might even tie the knot in there. Oh, this was a fun project. Thank you, Daphne, for your wonderful idea. And I loved creating this with you this afternoon. Oh my gosh, we're done. It is so beautiful. I love it. It's so beautiful. I love it. It's so beautiful. The colors are gorgeous. The flowers are gorgeous. Uh-oh. Husband's probably going to be angry I'm not cooking supper. <laughs> oh, well. I better get cooking supper. Okay, look at this. What do I have here? I have an absolutely beautiful piece. Oh, my gosh. That's so gorgeous. And this is Daphne's. From Daphne's Diary. She did hers that way. I like I'm I'm different. I like mine this way. I'm gonna hang it on my little hook like that. So there we go. A beautiful project from Daphne's diary. Thank you everyone for watching and stay tuned for more Daphne's diary projects from this edition. Bye for now.